Welcome back. Welcome back. Week four of the Balls Deep Podcast. Fantasy Six Pack. It's Finky Town here. Dave, uh, real quick, since we've got a short podcast here, you've got the floor for 30 seconds. Rub it in. Eagles giant, Eagles line. Uh, yeah, tell you what, I'll take five seconds and I'll say this. That game could have went either way, and I'm thankful as fuck that we got the win. That was uh, was not a fun one for me. Uh, we Unfortunately, we did not get to do the Sunday night showdown because I got drunk and went dancing. Uh, to some how to some good house music. The shout out to Detroit Swindle if they happen to be fantasy football players and uh, can we get there? Phenomenal DJs worldwide around. Just some great stuff. A recap: We uh, we like to be competitive here. We we split last week. We had the Thursday night game when it was the Titans and the Jags. Uh, you kind of kicked my ass there with uh, the stash. You know, I love my swagger stash, but uh, him as the captain really let it on. I tried to go with two defenses, and Henry is my captain. Did not work. Any comment on that one? No, nah, it was pretty close, actually. I only beat you by, like, 18 points, so, you know, wasn't, wasn't too bad. I, I'll take the victory, though. Yeah, that's a lot in showdown mode, though, when it's a, a, a low-scoring one. And then, Mon- <laughs> and then Monday, I came back on, and I put a whooping. Uh, we, we both had A-Rob as the captain, but I had a, a, a young man named Taylor Gabriel, who had three touchdowns and Detroit defense? That kind of that kind of was it there. Loving doing these showdowns here. You know, it's fun to fun thing to do and it's very competitive. So uh, right now in the season, looks like you're leading four to two, counting in those wins where I was playing tournament entries instead of head to head entries. But uh, I expect that to flip really soon. Expect that to flip really soon. Starting well, you're gonna with be, you're gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> starting with this Thursday. Uh, with my Philadelphia Eagles on a short week, uh, give me uh, let, let's go down this real quick. Give me, you know, these are just two guys playing some head-to-head DraftKings, some head-to-head DFS. Who's your captain this week? And tell me the rest of your lineup with a quick blurb on the players. Yeah, so um, so this week was one of the easiest ones I actually put together. Um, I didn't, I wasn't a humongous fan of anyone, so I went with uh, AA Ron as my captain. Uh, basically, I think he'll have the biggest week or has the biggest chance to have the biggest week. So I paid up for him. Um, I, you know, stacking him with Devontae Adams. So those guys alone are 27,000 of the 50. But, you know, I, I, that, that's where I wanted to go. So saved a little bit of money by going Mason Crosby um, and getting a kicker each week. And it's been working OK. Uh, Jimmy Graham was only 4,400. So kind of stacked him as well with, you um, with AA Ron, and then with the money I had left, I went ahead and went with Wentz. I figured I would get both quarterbacks. I could see this being a fairly high-scoring game, and that left me with 4,800. Um, the best that was left by far was Jordan Howard, who I'm not a humongous fan of, but with the rest of the guys I have in that lineup, um, I'm kind of happy to get him um, with 4,600. Kind of hoping he vultures, you know, two touchdowns. If he did that, that'd be fantastic, and I think I would win. So that's my lineup. Love it. Uh, I'm right there with you with Rodgers. Again, pick, you know, I'm an Eagles fan. Secondary's not there. Uh, I'm picking on him. And I think Aaron Rodgers is going to score the most points of the game. He's kind of due to, you know, they're running the ball a lot. I think this one, he kind of lets it rip. Um, when it comes to receivers and the rest of the other five flexes, uh, right there with you with Adams. But I'm just. Uh, you could say I'm going balls deep on the Packers here, Dave. Uh, we're yep. going Devontae Adams, Valdez Scantling, and Geronimo Wallace in there. So uh, any of his receivers, that's going to be a difference there because if Jimmy Graham scores a touchdown, you're going to win. Uh, that's all it comes to it. Uh, so that's four out of my six spots. And then you know I'm going to get two guys on the other side. We're going Carson Wentz as well. So it looks like they're going to cancel each mm-hmm. other out. And then Dallas Goddard. Uh, I think he's getting a little more healthy. I think he'll be more involved with the offense with no Deshaun. They could be playing more 12 formation. They've been talking about going more two tight ends. Looks like they're finally going to be both healthy and ready to rock together. So uh, I'm looking for Dallas Goddard to score that Jimmy Graham touchdown you're looking for there. So if Rodgers' touchdowns go to his wide receivers and Allison or Vala Scantling, it's going to look like it's going to go my way. Uh, and if it's Graham, it's yours. And we're sharing the same captain, Devontae Adams and Carson Wentz. I love your Jordan Howard play, by the way. I think they're going to start feeding him the rock. I will find out. 
so let's go ahead and get to the Sunday slate here. Um, uh, I want to ask you who your top quarterback is going to be, and it looks like you're taking a play from the Burt playbook here. Yeah, um, I mean, I think Russell Wilson is a pretty obvious choice. Um, I honestly would expect him to be pretty highly owned this week. Uh, everyone and their grandma has been killing Arizona this year. There it is. Um, you know, I do think, though, that, um, you know, it, it's again, it, I think we run into a situation where even though he's going to be highly owned and you could use that as an argument to, you know, fade on him, I kind of think he is too likely to put up so many points that yeah, you would have to own him if you – you know, plan on getting a big win, so I'm I'm just paying up for him. Well, I wouldn't say paying up because he's the seventh highest. Yeah, he's um, not that expensive. It's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, but I, I think so. Many, I think he's going to be so highly owned um, that I could see people fading him. I but I I'm yeah. I'm rolling with him for sure. You're not going to play him in the Millie Maker. So again, when we make our lineup at the end of the three dollar entry, uh, we're not going to we're not going to play Russ because you know we're always shooting for the nuts there. But if you're going to do a head-to-head -head matchup or a single-entry matchup, he's the safest pick at a good cost. It's just it's a no-brainer. Uh, he's the same there. Want to go ahead and give me some more guys who who you like in tournaments and guys you're going to be rounding out your rosters? Yeah, so I um, really like Mark Ingram this week. Um, and it's not so much because he had a big week last week. Um, I really like him in that offense. I think that the game against Cleveland, why it could – be a higher scoring game. I actually think it's going to be kind of low scoring. A um, couple good defenses, so I can see Ingram getting the ball a lot. Um, Austin Eckler, I really like him this week as well. Um, you know, should be a beast against Miami. Um, only concern would be the same thing as last week with Zeke, where you know the game could get out of hand and you know Jackson could end up getting a lot of carries. So um, that's my only concern there with him. For receivers. Um, I, I like Kenny Galladay again this week. I know last week he kind of killed us, um, but I, I, I see a high-scoring game in KC, and it kind of I think was more of a fluke that Marvin Jones got all the, you know, all the stats last week over Galladay. You don't like uh, Marvin very much, do you, as a Lions fan? You don't think too high. No, that's of not him. true. No, no, that's not true at all. Um, Galladay is just more consistent. Um, I think Marvin Jones is just fine. Um, but he's a he's a number two receiver in the NFL. Um, you know, Galladay's got the, got the chance to put up you know 150 and three touchdowns. Um, I'm not saying Jones couldn't do that, but I mean Galladay's their guy. Uh, Tyler Lockett is kind of an obvious pick um, because if you're you know if you're going with Wilson, you, you're going with Lockett as well, unless you just don't know what you're doing. Um, and then Josh Gordon, I just could see him getting a whole bunch of targets. And same thing with. With Galladay only maybe on a, on a bigger note, um, you know, he obviously could just have a ridiculous game, you know, playing in New England. Um, Flex-wise, um, I like Sterling Shepard this week as well. He's only $5,800. Um, he had good chemistry last week with Daniel Jones. Um, terrible Washington defense, so, you know, i have given him a crack. And then I'll just kind of skip the defense because there wasn't anything that drastically stood out to me as far as, like, a, a must-play. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice. I like those plays. I don't stand firmly against you on any of them. Uh, on my end, I'm going back to my well with the running backs. I've like Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry each week, regardless of matchup. Um, Derrick Henry is just the focal point of the offense, and if the Titans are going to win, it's going to go through him. So I, I almost like playing him more in tough matchups because he's always going to be low owned. He's never a sexy name. Dalvin Cook's just been the best running back and uh, one of the best running backs in football. Um, just ride the wave there. I think people will be scared off because of Detroit. I'm all in on Lockett. Terry McLaurin is still way too cheap. Uh, got to keep track of Case Keenum's injury there. And I also like the Carolina receivers. Uh, I think that you know Griffin looks like he can sling it, and I could see this game being a shootout against Houston. And then tight end, you know, I like your Sterling Shepard pick. Uh, I'm going Evan Ingram. I think he needs to be priced uh, with Travis Kelsey. And he'll slowly make his way up there. Uh, I'm going to play him all day, every day, until he's up there in the Kelsey tier. So, uh, give me give me uh, one sneaky tournament play. Give me one sneaky tournament play that you think will be less than 5% owned. And one uh, guy who you're completely going to avoid due to either ownership or lack of faith. Uh, let's see. Um, less than 5% owned. Mm -hmm. 
I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't bet my house on the the percentage, but I think DK Metcalf could be a sneaky pickup. Um, again, big fan of Seattle this week. I think everyone and their mom is on Wilson and Lockett. Uh, if you wanted to save a little bit of money and go a different direction, um, I mean, you could obviously do Lockett and Metcalf, but you could also just go Metcalf. Um, so I think that's kind of a sneaky one. And then I guess another one, again, if you wanted to save some money, um, I think you could actually build a really good potential stack with Daniel Jones. Um, you could go Ingram and Shepard uh, and save you know some money at quarterback, save some money at receiver, uh, pay up a little bit at tight end, but you could spend that money elsewhere. So I think those could be a couple sneaky options, and that's a sneaky snack. I like it. I think uh, I, I agree with you with Jones, but I think his ownership is going to be higher than you think. I think people like to go chasing the hot new toy. Uh, he's got a juicy matchup against Washington. I think he's going to be owned by like 15% or more uh, of people. And I think, you know, it's his first division game. And I know Washington stinks, but you really never know when it comes to a division. It's a rookie. We'll just, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. There's definitely an immense upside and the price is definitely right there. But if I'm playing a single entry tournament per se, I think I'm going in a different direction because there's always a chance that, you know, he gets caught up in a division game. Let's go ahead and make this $3 lineup this time. Uh, our lineup last week, uh, we barely cracked 100 points. Uh, Kane did not score. I had uh, what two? He had a catch or so. Uh, but you know, we we go for the nuts, and we're going to continue to do the same. Does the nuts involve Russell Wilson this week? Or um, I mean, that's kind of what most of my land. Well, not most of my land, but that's what the majority of my shares are going to be. Um, I'm going to go Wilson. I'm going to go Lockett, and I will probably also take their tight end Dissies who How about this? For our three dollar one, what about a little Kyle Allen versus Carolina? I mean, versus Houston, and get both of those Carolina receivers. Um, I absolutely hate it. Honestly, <laughs> you, you hate it even for a three dollar uh, just for uh, the dart throw. Yeah, I, I can't see them blowing up. I mean, I, I just, I mean, I'm fine with not going with the chalk of Seattle, but I just, I just don't like that Carolina offense to to put up so many points that that would you know vault you to to winning. I mean, I I could I could get man, I could right. get behind the Giants a little bit, but let's go with Daniel Jones. Let's go with Daniel Jones, Evan Ingram, and Sterling Shepard. Okay, I mean, even I mean, especially with Barkley being out, they're kind of going yeah. to throw the ball anyways. All right, so I like that. I've got Lockett in there just to get a piece of Seattle there because I still think he's going to blow up regardless. Um, I got Kenny Galladay as a wide receiver. Let's go ahead and just fill in. The Chargers defense, they're the most expensive, but we should mm-hmm. have some good salary. And uh, I think it's a guaranteed eight points with uh, with ceiling to uh, to go against Miami. So we've got 17000 to go to fill two running backs and a flex. So I'm okay. scrolling down to the to lower levels. Um, um, what's what's Eckler's Ack- what, like eight grand? Yeah, Eckler might be too high for us. He's eight okay. grand. Uh, what about Ingram, Mark Ingram? Ingram is high 66. as well. Ingram is 66. Henry is 63. Uh, and if we keep going down, I like Josh Jacobs a lot in a good matchup uh, at 5,100 against the Colts. Uh, we can slot him in. Maybe he'll get a couple touchdowns. So I think in terms of price, I think he's a good one there. And I think he's going to get the volume. So now we've got one more running back and a flex. Uh, for the running back, we can go ahead and let's uh, let's go Ingram. Let's go okay. Ingram again against Cleveland. Brings us 5500 for the flex, and it's fine to use all the salary here. Uh, going down, tell me when to stop. Uh, Michelle, no. Stephon Diggs. I think Stephon Diggs, I'm down to just say fucking go with Diggs here. His stock is so down. <laughs> let's, it, let's, let's look at a couple more names before I agree to Oh, uh, come to on, Diggs. Diggs. No one's gonna play him, and if he blows up, we're you're, in the okay, money. You're right. No one's gonna. No one's gonna play him against Chicago. And yeah, okay. This let's is a let, purely, right. a, purely a percentage. Purely a percentage uh, play. You and, talked me into it. I, the, I got you. And the talent is there. All right. So we've got Daniel Jones at quarterback, Josh Jacobs, Mark Ingram at the running back, Kenny Galladay, Tyler Lockett, Sterling Shepard at wide receiver, Evan Ingram is our tight end, Stephon Diggs in the flex. Chargers defense. I I like this one here, Dave. I think we're gonna come cashing on this one. I we really better. I really do. I really do. Um, 
It's been what what a nice little rapid fire pod tonight. Do the timing here. I think uh, it might have been our, our best flowing one yet. Maybe. Maybe. See, maybe we're just smarter when we don't talk so much. Maybe we're that. That's definitely the case. That's probably what it is. That's why I, I try and be a better listener than I am a talker. Because once I start talking, things uh, things can kind of go. Then, then people off learn the, how stupid we are. And hey, maybe we can get going if, if time allows. We can maybe get some more stuff out there. But for now, this was our Super Duper Sweet Balls Deep podcast here, Fantasy Six Pack. Thanks for listening. I'm Bert from my man Dave. Adios, and good luck getting that green this weekend.